The elegant dress, known as a qi pao, is regarded as uniquely Chinese costume. When Chinese women attend important occasions or international events, many choose to wear qi pao to reflect their Chinese identities. To the Chinese, the meaning of the qi pao is not only a piece of clothing, um, but actually it, it is a sign, an icon, and a cultural symbol of China. In 209, when Professor Charles Cald learned he was to receive the Nobel Prize in Physics, his wife called on a Hong Kong tailor to custom design a qi pao for her to wear to the ceremony. When the Hong Kong Museum of History heard the news, they contact Mrs. Kao immediately. Actually, it's before the birth of the uh, qi pao, we have included it in our exhibit list. And I think the design of the uh, qi pao is not uh, the most important issue. And the most important meaning is that she chose to wear uh, this kind of dress to such important international events. Look at the delicate pattern on this qi pao. Does it look familiar? 33 years ago, Loletta Chu wore this dress the night she was crowned Miss Hong Kong. After the 1970s, the qi pao is no more the daily wear of the Hong Kong women, uh, but it still can be seen in our daily life. For example, uh, the Miss Hong Kong pageants every year, and there is the uh, qi pao salmon uh, in the activity. Uh, so we would like to um, display um, the qi pao was by Miss Hong Kong in the exhibition. Other celebrities' qi pao are also on display including those of business leaders Christina Lee, Vera Waters, fame stars Lin Dai, and Josephine Xiao Fang Fang. The Qi Pao's origin can be traced back to the Long Gang's women war during the Qing Dynasty. Those early dresses were loose-fitting and embellished with exquisite embroidery work. After the revolution in 1911 and the fall of Qing dynasty, the dress became shorter but kept the long flared sleeves. The 1920s qi pao was the prototype for today's modern design. It was gradually transformed from a baggy loose cut to a slim body-hugging silhouette. To the 1930s and 40s, uh, it was the heyday uh, of the qi pao. It became uh, the most popular uh, dress for Chinese women at that time, as influenced by um, the Western appreciation of the slenderness. The style of the qi pao of that time uh, was long and slim. After the Cultural Revolution, mainland women mostly packed away their qi pao in favor of more practical work clothes. In Hong Kong, however, it became the average woman's daily wear until the late 60s. Most qi pao in this exhibition belong to this period. The curator says it was a challenge to properly display these tiny dresses. They have waists of about 20 inches. Actually, we cannot find um, uh, the mannequins of such small size in the market, so we have to uh, spend specially order a special size mannequin uh, uh, for the small size qi pao and the provider told us uh, that it is the smallest mannequin uh, they had ever produced. There are over 270 qi pao on display here. It takes time to fully appreciate the beauty of each one. For those in a hurry, we ask the curator which qi pao you should be sure not to miss. If the visitor has a time to view only one qi pao, I would recommend this one. Um, um, the original fabric uh, is not large enough to make the whole garment, and so um, the tailors used two pieces of fabric to uh, combine them together at the center of the garment. Due to the high quality of skills, um, the seam is almost unnoticeable. Oh, I don't mind to write it as cheap, how as a classic, it is timeless. The cheap house design is continuously under alteration. Consider these contemporary designs from the Institute of Textiles and Clothing at Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Staff were invited to recreate and to reinterpret the cheap house for this exhibition. 
At the kick-off ceremony, the four officiating guests, including Under Secretary for Home Affairs Florence He, Wu Chi Pao. The Qipao exhibition is on show at the Museum of History in Chimsa Choi until 13 of September.